Ever so often in Pokemon TCG, a rogue deck will surprise me with how strong it is and nobody seems to know it. Today, that deck is Serena EX. Its Icicle Soul attack is really, really strong. Then you put damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon until they have 30 HP remaining. Combine this with Vanillix's Frigid Room ability, which lets Pokemon that have 40 HP or less remaining not attack in total. So if you use Icicle Soul on literally any Pokemon that is at their highest stage of evolution, they have 30 HP left. If they can't heal, they can't do nothing. And you can finish them off at the end of the game with Hisuian Braviary's Eerie Cry, putting three damage counters on any of your opponent's Pokemon that have damage counters on them already. This combo is super strong, super easy and consistent to pull off, and it just makes for a ton of fun games that your opponents won't expect to have to deal with. So today we're gonna hop in and see what the strength of Serena EX can do. Just wanna give a quick thank you to the sponsor of the channel, PTCGL Store. If you need codes, you know where to go. Head over to PTCGOStore.com and use code HITMON to get 5% off your order. You get a good product for a good price and you help out the channel as well. So thank you to the sponsor for supporting me and thanks to you for supporting me too. And now we'll get right back into the video. What's going on everybody? Hitmon Channel here back again with another Pokemon trading card game online deck tech. Today we're taking a look at Serena EX. It's a rogue deck day today. And honestly, I'm telling you right now, this deck is a lot of fun and it's actually really strong so i kind of went over what the main strategy of the deck is you go in with serena's icicle soul you lock them up with vanillix and we also have a panic mask in here so they cannot attack um, when you use Icicle Soul, and then you finish them off at the end of the game with Hisuian Braviary. The deck list is on screen. I'm gonna go really quick today, not gonna go over every single card choice just yet. We're gonna hop into the video, hop into the games, and we're gonna see what Serena EX can do. And Tails Never Fails is what I always say. Now, in this case, Serena, you wanna be going second with it. I'm gonna tell you right now, we're absolutely going to go second because we have Irida, we have Arvin in the deck, and there's just so much cards that work together to allow for a consistent setup. If we had a basic here, this would have been a really, really solid hand because, you know, Irida can get us water type and a trainer card, or sorry, a uh, item card, which is battle VIP, and it can also get us a Vanillish or a Serena EX plus Rare Candy in the late game. So, so Irida is kind of the core of this deck, why it works so well. Plus we have, you know, the Vanillish line is an ice type slash water type line that synergizes with Irida as well, making it very easy to get Serena and Vanillix into play as soon as turn two. So we're gonna wait and see, our opponent's gonna finish setting up here, and then we're gonna go ham with Serena EX. Now basically, the core strategy, as I said a couple times, is Icicle Soul, you just wanna put three damage counters on all your Pokemon, or your opponent's Pokemon, and then wipe them at the end of the game. See here, this hand could have been a little bit better, but you know what, that's okay. We have Iono, so we have a supporter that will let us play down uh, all these cards and shuffle and draw new. So hopefully that is going to be enough to get us a battle VIP pass or a couple of other level balls and nest balls. And we're just gonna go and set up our board. Ideally, we wanna have a bounce suite, or sorry, two bounce suites, a Bidoof, a Vanillish at the bare minimum. That's kind of our little like, area that we can play between. Now, sometimes we need Manaphy in certain situations. Sometimes we need double the Doof or double Vanillish. All those guys have 60 HP, so it could be a bit of a challenge, but we are gonna start. Our opponent looks like they started with Jirachi in the active, so definitely not their preferred starter, but they do have a VIP pass in their opening hand, and my guess is it's gonna be a Charizard kind of day today. So, there's a Charmander coming down. This is really good for us, especially because we went second, because they really can't do anything, and the Artisan too, look at that. They really can't do anything unless they have a what's it called they can't do anything unless they evolve into a charizard and evolve into a pidgeot now when they evolve into that charizard and they take the first swing we lock them up immediately and then they're donezo right so we're gonna take this turn to get set up they go for the instant charge they didn't get rid of the artisan which i'm very thankful for and now we're gonna see what we got starting with badoof this is actually pretty good here and i think i want earthen vessel get rid of manaphy because we don't need it uh, we'll get these two energy cards down and I will attach the bounce suite then I just want to Iono pretty good because they have a huge hand I don't want to give them that many cards I'm saving the artisan because I want more basic Pokemon and here we go this is a really good hand actually we can go for the VIP we can get another bounce suite and a vanilla um, we only have the one Viberal we have one Serena in deck so that can be a bit of a challenge but thankfully we'll be able to lock it up a little bit here um now i'll go for the artisan and like i don't want them to necessarily target down our bidoof but i don't think they'll be able to get like to effectively target anything right now so i'm thinking we get the vanilla because we want to guarantee the vanillax play and we're just going to pass to my opponent now 
we're gonna need some energy cards. We need an energy um, in order to attack with our Serena. So that's why getting the second vanilla could be risky because in our hand we could get double barrel down. Um, so that could be a bit of a challenge. But even if they don't choose to go for a Charizard here, we're still in a decent spot because what we can do is we can actually evolve into Serena and we can hit the Rotom with Icicle Soul. Now you're probably asking, why the heck would you do that? It's because at the end of the game, when we use Braviary, we're gonna be a, we're gonna want to just wipe the board if we hit th three two prizers with Icicle Soul. We're gonna be chilling. Now here's another one of my pretty cool tech cards in here in Jacques. I really like having having Jacques in the deck because it lets you get two evolution guys right off the bat, play them into the, you know, play them down like two bib barrels or a bib barrel and a Serena, and then you draw and you find the other card you need. That's the kind of reason behind Jacques here. So I am a fan of having Jacques in the deck. Um because there's only so many Iridas and so many Arvins you can play, right? Now, a lot of the Ultra Balls and a lot of Rare Candies are now at the bottom of our deck, which I'm not a fan of, but it looks like they got an Ultra Ball here. And they're going to be able to go and get themselves. I'm going to guess a Pidgeot, because I don't think they have a reason to put a Charizard in play, because they can't retreat unless they have something funky up their sleeve. They already retreated the Jirachi. Maybe they're going to hold it. I'm not quite sure what their plan is here. But either way, I'd like to get our Serena up right now. They're probably just waiting. They're probably going to instant charge. So if we're able to burn down these cards a little bit, they're evolving into a Charmeleon, which is actually kind of fine for us. We don't really mind that. We don't play TM Devo in here, as, even though we could. They're going to go for the instant charge. That's like, okay with me. They're going to have to make a move eventually. We can just keep Icicle Soling. So getting another VIP pass isn't too great. But I want to start with going for a Heavy Ball. Another Bounce Suite there. And we have Price of Braviary, there are two Serenas. So not a lot of cards we can burn right here, which isn't too great, but essentially I'm gonna whiff the Heavy Ball. I'm gonna drop the Artisan, I'm gonna use it, and I wanna grab, I think, another Bounce Suite here. I'll grab the Bounce Suite. I'll attach to this Bounce Suite. I'll use Jacques. Jacques is gonna get me Steeny and Bit Barrel. And we're going to kind of just prepare a little bit more for this upcoming turn because we're not going to be able to draw that many cards. We'll go for this. We'll go for the barrel. We might get Rare Candy Serena off the top. We get two Irida. So next turn, we got it. We can just go for a quick blow here. This is completely fine. I'm really not worried about this hand. They have no way to do like any multiple sorts of damage, right? Like they can't do any kinds of... Um, uh, sorry, multi-prize KOs here. So I'm fine with this. This is okay. I'm going to force them to make the first move. They're never going to have a perfect setup, right? They started Jirachi. They have Rotom in play. I don't know if they play Collapse. I don't know what Charizards are playing right now. But as long as we can just hit them with Icicle Soul and stop them from attacking, there's nothing they can do. Um, they're going to start with the Mysterious Tail, and you know, they're going to have to make a move eventually, right? If they go up with Charmeleon, I'm just going to Icicle Soul them, and I'm just going to punch them and take out the Charmeleon, right? So, um, sorry, not Icicle Soul, the other one. Now, this is a pretty tough spot for me here. They've used Avery, so no Counter Catcher, but I think Vanillion and Bounce Suite have to be the ones to get rid of. Sorry, not no Counter Catcher, I meant no uh, Boss Warriors. Um, now they're going to go into the Rare Candy Charizard, and I'm thinking they're going to attack the Bounce Suite here. But if we can lock them out from attacking, maybe we'll be okay. The thing is, is we're going to need another Vanillite here in order to uh, secure our Frigid Room uh, ability in play. Because we can get Vanillux up, but they can just boss KO it with another Charizard, and then that puts us in a bad spot. They can alternatively vacuum away the Panic Mask, so we really need to get two Vanillites up in play. We're going to find our Rod, um, and it was in the deck, so we're going to be able to hopefully use that at in this game here now they're gonna go up with the zard and yeah they're probably just gonna swing into this bounce suite and that's a-okay i know they're preparing the charmeleon uh they're gonna evolve into zard probably boss up the vanillux once we get it to play but we're still forcing them to take another one prizer which is really good for us the thing is we're gonna have to take another ko in order to get braviary out of the prizes so if we can just run them out of resources really quick and then just start taking our prizes that'll be good so we're gonna lead with steeny and here i'm gonna see what i want to grab the Grass Energy is fine. It's another card we can pull, pull uh, play down. Irida, I think I want to grab the, an Ultra Ball. We have the Rod, and I think I want, obviously, to grab Serena. Now, I'm confident we'll be able to put ourselves a Vanillux into play. So we're just going to Ultra Ball this here. 
and I, we could grab the Vanillux. Like we just grab it and we go from there. Hopefully just getting a rare candy. That's my kind of goal. Um, we don't, we just get more Iridas, which is a little bit tragic. So I'm not sure, like Artisan's not really gonna do anything for us here. Could get Rufflet down. I don't really need to. Yeah, not being able to get ourselves the other vanilla could be bad, but we're gonna just start with Icicle Soul here. We're gonna hit the Charizard right in the face for 300, and hopefully, 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 they can't, um, you know, like if they wanna retreat this Charizard, they're gonna have to manually retreat it, go up with Charmeleon, evolve, and then boss KO the vanilla. And in that case, we can hopefully Icicle Soul them again, and then maybe use Irida, grab ourselves a rod, use Artisan once more. They're probably not gonna get rid of it. There's the boss's orders on the vanilla, I'm guessing. Yeah, there it is. They're probably not gonna get rid of Artisan because they know we have no basics in the deck. So if we can Irida for our rod, get down our other basic guys, we'll be chilling. Now we've hit them with that Icicle Soul and the clock is ticking. We could take a KO on the Charizard here, which I might not like hate, to be honest. There's no reason to hit this Charmeleon. Uh, we do get Arvin too. So I think probably the best call is just an Irida and we go for Rod and maybe something like, could get Vanillish into play for next turn. We go for Super Rod, a put back, two Vanillites and a Bound Sweep. Now they're not KOing Bound Suite at all, uh, or they're not KOing our Serena at all. So we are gonna wanna grab the Vanilla. If we're just forcing them to keep bossing it up, that's a-okay with me. Um, so I think right now I'm fine to go for a Trop Kick and we hit this Charizard. Now they're faced with a choice. They could boss up this Vanilla. If they boss up the Vanilla, they're taking only one prize once again, which leads us to having a better time dealing with their other Charizard. Um, they're gonna start Mew. They haven't got Pidgeot up online yet, so we're still in the clear. We are gonna wanna find our Iono though, which was at the bottom of the deck. We have two more in the deck, so I'm not sure how exactly we're gonna get there. But as of right now, we're doing A-OK. -okay. So yeah, that Avery really did come in clutch for them. I wasn't expecting that. There is the fire energy. They're gonna probably Artisan for another Charmander first. Then they're gonna go for a Charizard EX play. Um, and then in that case, they're gonna need a vacuum in order to hit us. They're gonna Iono us, which I'm actually happy about because our hand is really clogged and it's like, we don't necessarily need all that. Um, we find a rare candy, but now all of our Iridas are at the bottom of the deck. Thankfully, we can shuffle it with the Artisan. So I am pretty A-OK -okay with that. We're also gonna potentially have a counter catcher play. Wait, they Ionoed us, Never mind. Um, so there's that going for us as well. And now I'm kind of surprised at the route they went. I think they had another Charizard in their hand, if I'm not mistaken. So... I don't know why they didn't evolve, but maybe they didn't. Um, and maybe this is their like last ditch attempt. They're probably gonna instant charge once more. If we can find an Iono, that would actually be really good. So we could stop them from uh, instant charging. Now, or sorry, we could stop them from getting full benefit, but they do have the Ultra Ball. So they're gonna Ultra Ball, get rid of the VIP. They play two Avery, which I'm not a fan of, and I'm thankful that they got rid of it. And here comes another Charizard EX. So there's no boss coming out because they Ionoed. Uh, so my plan, is we're just gonna Icicle Soul them. Hopefully we can get a Vanillix online, and then there we go. There's the Infernal Ring, and they're gonna charge up the Mew and charge up the uh, Charmander, it seems. And now they have one card in hand. If they played this low, they probably have a Supporter. But you don't know, right? You don't know what you don't know. They're thinning their deck. We'll see what they got here. They're not taking a prize card. So if we I can Icicle Soul this Charizard EX, they can't take a prize. If we can get the Panic Mask plus Vanillux combo up, and it makes it basically impossible for them to hit into our Serena again, we might be okay. Um, so now we're just gonna see what we can do, hopefully. I wanna go for the Artisan here for sure. And we'll get the other Bounce Suite. Now we're in a pretty tight spot because I can Ultra Ball these two away, get the Vanillix online, or probably the Vanilla, but then we don't have any Vanilla access the rest of the game. So it could be a bit challenging. We need Rufflet because we used our Rod already. So I think that might be the play. We'll get rid of the Vanilla, we'll get rid of the Counter Catcher. We'll grab ourselves Vanillix, and we can play that down. We could put Rufflet into play, threaten the Rufflet play. I think that's actually not a terrible idea, and just draw a bunch of cards here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We get another bit barrel down. We can put this down, and then we can draw even more with industrious incisors. 
Uh, like I said, threatening the play alone sometimes is enough, even though we have it prized, they don't know that. So we're gonna Icicle Soul and we're gonna hit this Charizard X here. Now, the good thing is we have a lot of rare candies left. We have a Serena in the deck still. And right now with a two card hand specifically, it's impossible for them to attack us. They're gonna need a big research or like something like a rare candy in hand plus a Turo, which a lot of Zards aren't playing Turo right now. So it's completely fine. Um, we're kind of just locking them out and they're done. There's like, there's nothing they can do right now. If they own us, they own us to four. They're gonna need a rare candy Pidgeot plus Zard or rare candy Zard. Exactly, they've played two rare candies, I think. Just one, so it is possible, but they've played a bunch of Ultra Balls. Uh, we leave two Ultra Balls. They have a Forest Seal Stone. So we'll see what's in their hand, and what they're gonna go for here. Now, don't forget, this is their V-Star power for the game. If they grab an Iono, they're just gonna shuffle their hand. They're gonna draw four cards. Four is not a lot to work with, so it might be tough for them to make a comeback here. However, they could get another Charizard up. In that case, we can Ice Skull Soul them again, and then they just cannot attack us unless they're able to get a Pidgeot powered up, for example. But they have so many support Pokemon on their bench, not a room for a third Charizard. So that's important to keep in mind. But I'm sensing something like an Arvin or an Iono, something that will guarantee them what they want, or at least try and search for it. There's the Arvin, so they gotta have a Charizard in their hand, and it's probably a rare candy is the other card or is that the card that they're grabbing? That's the only way that this works. They have Vacuum and they have TM Devo. TM Devo could be tough, but they can't attack with this Charizard, right? That's the key, they cannot attack with it. So they can Devo us. The Vacuum doesn't matter, unless they're getting rid of, oh. I'm so confused right now. What are they getting rid of? They're getting rid of the, okay. But we have Vanillix in place, so it doesn't matter. Honestly, their best bet might have been retreating into Charmander and going for a TM Devo play, but because they just didn't do that, I'm comfortable, right? Um, they just cannot attack. I don't think they know what Vanillix does. They must not. If they Devoed us, though, we have Double Rare Candy in hand. They're going to retreat into Jirachi, it seems, and go for an instant charge play. There's a Super Rod that they're going to put some Fire Energies and Charizards back. I'm not sure if I would have done that, to be completely honest. Just two fire energy. Why wouldn't you wait until you draw your cards? You don't need to draw fire energy right now. You need to draw rare candy Charizard. So I'm not sure about this play. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, we get another grass energy, which we can use here, but it's not gonna even let us draw anything with the barrel. I'm kind of just fine going for a trop kick, healing some damage, KOing this Jirachi. Uh, forcing them to do something else, you know what I mean? We do have switching cards still. I really want to get Braviary, that's my, my key here. I could also just hit him with another Icicle Soul, like that's another possibility, right? They're gonna be forced to move the Strachi out of the active. We'll go for the Trop Kick here, that's my play. And the reason I want to do that is because I like, we can slowly heal, which is a benefit obviously, but we need that Braviary, and we have Braviary now, perfect worth it 100 percent. because with braviary if they knock out the serena somehow by some magic we can just go in with braviary take a knockout leave all one prizes on the board so then if they deal with braviary great um they've only taken one prize but we've taken two on the zard there's another artisan which they can use to get out of charmander but what are they going to do they have such a low hand they use their forest seal stone granted they have a lot of resources left they have mysterious tail they have two ultra balls and three rare candies in the deck still so they have a lot of options here um in order to build their board back up but as of right now it's gonna be really tough for them to establish a board in general they had to play an arvin this would have been the turn to play the arvin um so like they would have i would instant charge and save the arvin to give us more leeway with things like um ultra balling and such so it looks like they Went for a level ball, don't have too much off of it. There's a fire energy on the Zard, probably preparing to attack at some point. And in this case, we can just, yeah, they're gonna instant charge again. Now we can set up our perfect play here. We can go for Braviary. We might not even want to evolve it, but if we get Iono to low, I don't know. Honestly, maybe. How many Ultra Balls do we have left in the deck? Two, we have two Irida and all of our Arvins. I'm kind of fine to not evolve it, just playing on the fact that they might not know we have it. And we'll just go for an Icicle Soul, target down Rotom V. So next turn, or I could have targeted it down like anything, like even Mew, but I don't want something to evolve in us to not be able to KO it. Um, so yeah, we'll Icicle Soul that. And if they KO Serena, great, we go up with 
rough. Um, we go up with Braviary. If they don't, great, they took one prize. We take two prizes with a... Uh, we don't have access to Counter Catcher. That's interesting. That is interesting. But we can get another Serena up, and then at that point, we can just take two knockouts, and that's all we need. Whereas they'll still need to take two knockouts after they KO Rufflet. So, it's not the worst thing in the world. But being able to disrupt them like this, I think, has been pretty good. Um, the deck's been working, even though we had a pretty rocky start. We've been able to disrupt them so much that they, like, can't really do much, right? So, I'm just kind of curious now what their final, what their play is going to be here. We have game in hand next turn if they don't do anything. So, we just got a two retreat cost, so we just retreat. There's an Ultra Ball coming down, and I'm 100% guessing it's a Charizard that they're going to find. Um... They're gonna go up and they're gonna hit this Serena. That's my guess. They could boss the Rufflet, but then again, we just Icicle sold that Charizard. Congratulations, no attackers. Um, unless they go for a Pidgeot attack, which is also possible. But then what we do is we just go for another Icicle Soul on our second bounce suite and we lock them out of the game. So I'm guessing they're gonna charge off this Pidgeot here because it's important to have a second attacker, but they have another Zard they could charge. They have the Mew they need to retreat. They've used, I think they played two rods. So there's a lot going on here. Not even going to consider the Pidgeot. If it's just a retreat and a swing here, we have it. If not, if they go for an Iono, it's a little more challenging. But as I said, we got our double barrel. We got so many outs in the deck to our Braviary. It does not matter. They need an insane amount of cards here. There's the Quick Search, and I'm 100% guessing it's an Iono. Again, Ioning yourself from 2 to 4 isn't necessarily great. It's not really going to help them with anything. But you know they could potentially do something with it so we're going to see them go up into this charizard it could be a boss on the rufflet or a boss on the vanillix it is going to be a boss and what's it going to be on it's going to be on i'm curious what their play is here if it's vanillix we win it is the rufflet but we still have vanillix in play so we can just icicle soul this charizard and then we just pick them off from there there's the burning darkness 270 hitting our poor little rufflet there they're taking a prize and now basically they're locked out of the game we got the vanillix we have our serena there's nothing that they could do to us here um i'm curious we literally can't like play anything from our hand which is a little bit tragic. We have so many cards in the deck that would be good. Dynatree Hill is a crazy tech that stops them from healing. We'll just attach that to Bounce Suite there, and we're gonna go for an Icicle Soul. Congratulations, Charizard EX. You can't attack now. Um, they've been through a lot of their energies as well. They have four on board, two in the discard, uh, probably one in hand or something. They've used three rare candies. What are you doing now against me, Mr. Charizard player? Oh, Manaphy? Awesome. <laughs> What's that going to accomplish? We can just continuously drop kick now. There's nothing they could do. They could hit. Yeah, they should have charged up that Pidgeot, but now they're completely locked up. Um, there's a quick search. Probably going to be an Iono. That's okay. We get an Irida. We get our other um, Serena out when we win. There's zero way for them to take a knockout right now unless they play Raihan which would be really weird in a Charizard deck, but they could, then they could knock out our Serena. There's a Collapsed, which will let them get rid of the Charizard or the Rotom. Again, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, they have an Arvin. Maybe it's a TM Devo play, but you can't attack, my friend, unless you retreat into Pidgeot. In that case, I have the Vanillix, I have the Rare Candies, but they're just gonna grab a Rare Candy out of the deck there. And now, maybe they don't have Ionos left. There's got, they got to make room for all those Averys somehow. So maybe they're out of the Iono. And at this point, what are you going to do as a Charizard player? What are you going to do against this like combo here? We have Double Blue Barrel. Iono does nothing. We have Vanillax up. You need to boss it to KO it, but you can't attack, so that does nothing. Even then, Pidgeot EX isn't KOing Vanillax. There's the scoop. We have successfully locked our opponent out of the game with Serena. And I'm going to take a second to talk about this here because I think that's one of the real strengths of Serena is that you can play in a way that you checkmate your opponent like three turns ahead of time. And what I mean by that is you put your rufflet down, for example, even if you don't have the Braviary. We put it down, they didn't know we had it, we waited a turn, we still didn't have it, but they still opted to boss it up because they just lost the game if we did have it. Now, that means they couldn't boss up KO Vanillax, which means that they couldn't attack us like the rest of the game. But we have Braviary, so we just won the game. So you checkmate your opponent a couple turns in advance, and then you force them to play into it there, and it just locks them up completely with the power of Serena. They could have just swung into Serena, taken it out, but then the second we put another one in play, they're completely toast. So we've really, I think, 
examined the strengths of Serena right here, and I'm very happy with how the deck works out. Our opponent got heads, they won the flip, we lost the flip, but that's a okay. Hopefully our opponent wants to go first, and that lets us go second, which is what, exactly what we want. We just want an Irida, a follow-up supporter, basic search, and boom, there we go. Bob is your uncle. Pretty solid hand. I'm actually kind of, I'm happy with this, because we can just Iono and get going. Um, now we are going to be up against Mew, which could be a really good matchup for us because we can just drop kick a VMAX and they can't even leap it away if they can't attack in total. There's a double turbo coming down. They have put two Mews in play, a Crownomatic. This is their Hail Mary, it seems. If they don't hit this Crownomatic, they probably don't have a game, but they got the heads, which means they got the VIP, they got the Genesex down, but can they draw any more cards is the question here. They're 100% getting the new VIP, like there's no doubt about that. Um, but why wouldn't you just cram first and then you can play your hand accordingly to that? There's the VIP pass. I thought they had it in their hand the whole time. I was like, whoa. But now that Genesect can draw us like single card, maybe they have an Ultra Ball or something in their hand. That'd be really good for them. But by the way they played it, I'm thinking that their hand is kind of dead right now. Uh, there's another Genesect V, so they're now they're kind of grooving. Uh, they can Fusion Strike for two more. If they get another basic search, they can Fusion Strike for like three or four more. They'll be a-okay. -okay. My Mew friends will be A-OK. -okay. Now, Braviary is really important in this matchup because what we can do is we can just ping three Genesects. It's two Mews or three Genesects. That's all their turn was, and that's A-OK -okay with me because we got a battle VIP pass to bring us joy and glee. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna grab a Bounce Suite, and we wanna grab a Bidoof for sure. Pretty solid hand overall. Um, I'm gonna attach this to the Bounce Suite on the bench. We could save the Jacques, we could use Jacques here save it get ourselves our uh what's it called get ourselves our full combo going but we need more basics so i know is completely fine with me even if we just get like a level ball that's completely fine there's our level ball we got a really good follow-up hand so i'm a happy guy we can level ball and grab ourselves vanilla um and then we'll bench the vanilla and we will pass now if this turns out to be something like a uh, fusion strike build with meloetta and with ice you Bidoof can't get targeted by ICU. If they target out Vanilla, I'm really kind of fine with that. So that's okay. We have Lost Vacuum in this deck as well to hopefully get them out of their um, four seal stone utility if they try and save it and like pull a fast one. So I'm fine with that as well. We're going to be doing A-OK. -okay. I'm expecting to get Judge Path here 100%. I'm expecting them to get another... Oh, another Genesect is kind of interesting to me. I was expecting another Mew because you want to see if you can leap our little guys and keep the Mews out of range of getting trapped. But maybe they don't know what exactly we're trying to do. They're going to play a Power Tablet just to play it. I'm expecting maybe a Psychic Leap attack here or a Max Miracle just to KO and not have to retreat next turn. Again, they have a finite amount of switching cards. There's a Mew VMAX coming down already, which is perfect, perfect, perfect for us. And a Judge coming out from them. Now, as long as we can get some sort of decent cards here which we got Arvin, so we have possibility to draw more, um, especially because they can't boss us. Uh, they can they can path us if they want, like I really do not care. I actually play path in a build of mine, excuse me, in this in this Serena build, I play path before I played Dino Tree Hill, and it was okay, but I found that it was getting kind of, you were trapping it in your hand. So that's why I went for a low stadium count instead of being like max disruption, because I kind of found, do whatever you want, opponent, you're really not going to be able to do anything against me as long as I set up, so I'll just focus on the setup. Now we've completely trapped them. They can't get this Mew, we can't, they can't get these Mews, I should say, into a way where they can flip them out, you know? Where they can like, leap them and keep them from getting trapped. So we have a pretty solid like hand that we can work with here. Arvin's going to be really, really good for us. So And we get an Ultra Ball too. So we what we can do is I'm fine to bench this, I'm fine to Ultra Ball these away and grab a barrel and just start drawing. Because then we can go and grab Arvin, which will get us hopefully one of our missing pieces if we don't draw into it. Um, and then we can start trapping this Mew VMAX. We get the full rare candy Serena, which is really, really good. We can Iono them a little bit lower, but I don't necessarily know if I want to do that. I might just want to Arvin here. But then again, we can't get the full, like we can either, you know what, no. The play here is to Iono. And I gotta tell you why. It's because I know they have Lost Vacuum in their deck still. So why would I put my Serena at risk? Now, we didn't exactly get a, a card that can punish them. But that's fine, to be completely honest. We put the Bounce Suite down. We can attach to this Bounce Suite. 
they're, I don't think they're KOing our uh, Serena right here. So we'll go. Drop kick, boom, 280 on the Mew VMAX. They can't heal Mew VMAX right now. So I'm kind of fine with this play. Um, next turn, hopefully we're going to be able to get our other Serena down. There's no way for them to KO us in one shot here. So that's fine with me. They might try and, you know, bring up the barrel and kill the barrel. That's completely cool. I'll hit your other Mew, hopefully lock him out of the game. And then it's just, you know, Bob's your uncle, right? So a little, like they can power tab. They can triple tab, still not have enough to KO us, which is hilarious um, and completely okay with me because like, yeah, play down all these cards, draw, 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 draw. You can judge me, I got four cards in my hand. Is it really worth it? You don't know. I mean, it would be better to get a different four cards than these unless I top deck a uh, Vanillux. But again, we're in a really solid spot and there's nothing to complain about here. We just have to wait for them because now all they have to do is hit into the Serena. And then as long as Vanillite's in play, they're kind of locked up. There is a, what's it called? Oh, hold on. Okay, uh, they're gonna cram -matic. they hit Tails, which is good for us. The Fusion Strike Energy. It stops Vanillux from working. Important to know. We can still Icicle Soul them though. So we can Icicle Soul and then like if they, they can't KO us here, then we just have to attack twice. So that's really important to know. There, that's a Max Mirror, or not a Max Miracle, that is a Cross Fusion Strike Techno Blast there though. We get an Ultra Ball, which is really, really good. And I'm game two. How do I want to play this now? Now that they have the Fusion Strike, um, What's it called? They have fusion energy. I think another Serena is like probably the way to go here because. And then, yeah, this is the way to go. We do another Serena. And then we can put back our bounce suite and energy. No, not bounce suite and energy, rufflet energy. Uh, that's what we need. We don't need another bounce suite at this point. That's fine. And then we can get a big draw. If we can get vanilla to the play even better. Um, we get Jacques, we can Iono them again. I don't know if Iono is the right call, but I definitely want to do this. And I could back away the Seal Stone and I could attach to this and just smack him with a Trop Kick. Cause we're still technically three attacks away. Here I force them to, re to retreat. So I kind of want to do that. I want to Jacques, I want to get rid of the Seal Stone. Um, then I'll, I think I, I can attach to Steamy. I think I still want Icicle Soul because they're gonna still need a retreating card. And now let's go for Niono again. They're gonna need to find some of their switches. They got rid of a rope already. We get rare candy. We also get counter catcher, which is really solid. But, okay, so how do I wanna play this? I think getting rid of these guys is fine. And then we can grab ourselves Vanillux. I also could grab, I could grab Rufflet, but Braviary isn't in the deck. So we're gonna have to take prizes at some point. So I'll grab Vanillux, try and make their life really difficult. And I'll go for the Vanillux. And I think Icicle Soul is going to be the way to go here. Because I don't want to counter catcher because they need to retreat like switch anyway. Then I'll counter catcher later. But we'll start with the Icicle Soul in this Mew VMAX. It can attack if they find a switch. But that's going to be their problem. They're down a rope. So the fact they can't use switch cards. So they need to use regular switch to retreat, switch back in, and then they'll be fine. Um, then we can just go in with another Trop Kick, hopefully. We do have the energy to sustain that. We're one, two, three, four, we have one energy, or two energy left, unless they're both prized. And then in that case, uh, we would be screwed. That would not be good. But I did put one back into the deck, I know for sure. So unless it's that one specifically, there's the concede. We did it, we beat Mew Max. That's so funny. So what did you think of my Serena EX deck? I I love this deck. I won't lie. This deck is a lot of fun. And to be completely honest, I think this deck becomes legitimately good after rotation. Let me explain why. Because right now you're really relying on those battle VIPs. But the trick is you don't need to get fully set up on turn one. You can have a turn where you just have like a bounce suite, like two bounce suites and a Bidoof, which is that, that's it. That's not that much to ask for realistically. And then you can still put the vanilla ice or the vanilla down 
or vanillaite, sorry, down the following turn. Use Panic Mask for one turn. Hopefully they can deal with it. And then you go into the vanilla because you drop kick something else. Or you, sorry, you ice skill soul something else. And then that would make it really hard for them to deal with certain things. Um, Braviary is really good as a finisher. Even if you don't get Braviary out, that's fine. Just use it as a threat. Threaten them with Braviary and then they'll be forced to deal with Rufflet. That's kind of the key here. This is a really sick deck. And... It's not that hard to get Serena plus Vanillax down when you need it because Irida synergizes with both of them and it's just so, so cool. I'm a huge fan of this deck. I think it's a lot of fun and I really do hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if I don't make any changes, sometimes, you know, Dynatree Hill doesn't feel all that helpful. Sometimes I want an Artisan instead, but I think Dynatree Hill is really important against decks that play Bravery Charm as well as Switch Card, which is, you know, most decks that play Bravery Charm. For example, Roaring Moon, you would really need a Dynatree Hill at a crucial moment in the late game so they can't switch cart damage off you and then, you know, hit you so that you can't vacuum away their tool and KO them. Maridon is another example. Maridon is a really strong and fast deck. They get a turn two Iron Hands without, like, with a charm, you're going to be in a pretty bad spot. So being able to Dynatree Hill and stop them from healing that Iron Hands, um, or even if you hit them with Nice Skull Soul, or, yeah, Nice Skull Soul, and they put a charm on it after you don't want them to heal that damage because you want to be able to breviary them next like turn or in two turns or whatever so it's very important that you have that tree hill i think uh that's one of the cards that loses with rotation but it's easily swappable you could swap it for another panic mask you could genuinely swap it for a tmd evolution i've seen a lot of lists play that and it does make a lot of sense because you can just devo something and they can't do anything about it um, like Charizard for example, but you have a good Charizard matchup anyway. So other than that, the deck works extremely well. I want to say thank you all so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed and comment down below. What do you think of my Serena EX deck? Would you like, would you dislike, would you keep, would you change about the list? Subscribe to the channel because I post multiple Pokemon training card game videos every single week. I talk about rotation, I do deck profiles, I'm going to start doing more GLC, tabletop, you name it, I've got it here. Look through my catalog of videos and I'm sure there's something that you will like. So again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, Hitmonchanning. Out.